problem between sex work of in an established Western culture and sex work in an impoverished third world nation is the fact that you can't have economic endowment. You can't have cultural egalitarianism when you don't have the economic means to support it. So that means that on one sense you can't say, oh, I want better rights for these people because you don't have any foundation to support those better rights upon. You don't need social egalitarianism, either progressive or conservative, but you do need some foundation to base rules of conduct upon. And if those are going to be a free society where people can be self-deterministic, then you're going to need something for those liberties to be based on. And if the only other thing is economic egalitarianism, because that gives you the friggin' opportunity to make choice. And that's the only thing you can have, and that's the difference between poverty, wherever it is, and indenturement. Because, and the culture of a society also uh, increases that indenturement, and that's what you're trying to fight against, to increase someone's choice of lifestyle, whether they want to be a sex worker or they don't want to be a sex worker, because these people are being indentured. So, sex workers' rights will not support in an area where there is not human rights. That's the problem and that's the difference. That's why s sex workers' rights do not apply to sexual trafficking. And maybe there needs to be a secular, but anti-sex uh, effort until the proper liberties can be established to give someone the choice to make a free choice. If you understand my point. Uh, that could apply to third world nations or even into industrial nations where there is poverty. There's a lot of difference between a high class stripper and a corner, corner, uh, uh, I can't think of the word, a corner street, a street corner hooker basically. Especially if it's somewhere where crime and poverty are prevalent and it's someone underage. Because age has something to do with it too because if it's like a runaway or something, they're precluded from the law from seeking help without being indentured into a system. Because we want to save them from exactly what they're doing. So therefore, it precludes them seeking any recourse and help. It's a juxtaposition of problems. I don't know. It's a contradiction between uh, individual liberty and uh, the state telling you what's best for you or what's best for someone who can't make their own choice. Whether it's poverty, indenturement from society, or social egalitarianism. Even rightly so, like someone who can't make the choice of consent, like someone who's uh, a runaway youth that's uh, living on the street supporting themselves with prostitution, often gay prostitution. Yeah, I said gay prostitution. You know, but let's face it. You know, it's that's very prevalent too. And somewhat more protected because it's seen under the thing of a 
lifestyle choice. It's true. 